Something I never thought I'd be interested in is blood sugar. But after monitoring my glucose for a week straight, I found it so incredibly fascinating. I learned so much about my body and I wanted to share that here with you because you might be interested in tracking yours as well. I'm Julie Bauer Roth, the food, fitness, and lifestyle blogger behind Paleo G. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to share my favorite food, fitness, and wellness tips to help you live your best damn life. Today we're talking glucose, blood sugar. Okay, this is something I never thought I'd be interested in in any capacity because I don't know, I just didn't care about it. You hear people talk about blood sugar, my blood sugar's low, I'm super hangry, that's about it. But I didn't really know anything else about blood sugar until I got pregnant and I found out about the gestational diabetes test. And that is normally a glucola test. So the glucola test is done anywhere between, I think, 24 to 28 weeks to see if you have gestational diabetes. The more I looked into glucola, the less I wanted to do it. One in four women have a false positive test result and then have to do another test that's often a three hour sugar test. And I did not wanna be part of that 25%. My best friend had to do that and she told me she almost passed out after the three hour test. And then I actually had another girlfriend recently who had the exact same feeling. So I didn't wanna be part of that. And it didn't really Really makes sense to me to drink 50 grams of sugar without dressing it up with some sort of protein or fat. So to me, I didn't want to do the glucola test. So I asked if there was another option. I know this isn't an option for everyone, but at my midwife center, they offered me a week long testing of my blood sugar. So all I would have to do is test my blood sugar first thing in the morning when I woke up on a fasted state, and then I would test it three other times an hour after each meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I said, absolutely give me that. I want that over glucola. So all she did was send in a prescription to get all the things I needed for this blood sugar test. So I have a monitor, I have testing strips, and then I have some lancets just to draw some blood from. And then I got to testing. Every morning I would wake up, I would test my blood sugar first thing. Then I would test it an hour after each meal for seven days straight and I learned so much. What I noticed immediately was my blood sugar stayed the same other than going up a little bit. So sometimes it would be lowest at 88 in the morning and then highest it would get to about 120 to 130, somewhere between that. But when it really jumped, was when one night I was making dinner and as I was eating dinner, I was eating some corn chips. So I ate some corn chips as I made our little Mexican meal and then I finished with some corn chips on top. Well, an hour after dinner, I tested that and it was much higher. And then I was like, well, okay, I don't feel good about that. I don't like that number. Luckily, went back down the next day and when I didn't have corn chips right away, then my blood sugar stayed nice and steady. And this of course got me sharing all of this on Instagram like I always do. And someone reached out and said, you should follow Glucose Goddess on Instagram. Highly recommend her. She has incredible resources and incredible graphics. And so you can learn just about how you should eat in general to keep your blood sugar stabilized throughout the day. Now, something I learned really quickly from following her on Instagram is that you wanna dress your carbs up. And I feel like this has become a pretty widespread comment that you see on Instagram all over the place. Dress your carbs up, put clothing on your carbs, and how important it is to eat in a certain way. And when I say this, I learned this from the glucose goddess. So you wanna start with a vegetable, then you wanna have your protein and fat, and then you wanna finish with your carbohydrates. So obviously when I was eating these corn chips immediately without having any sort of protein or fat, that really spiked my blood sugar and it had a harder time coming back down. So I started to play around with this. Even after my testing week was done, I would have a vegetable, oftentimes a salad with some sort of vinegar on it. Then I would have my protein and fat and then I would finish with my carbohydrate. And I would do that for my snacks as well as my meals. And I started tracking all of those things, what it looked like when I had my snack, what it looked like when I had my dinner, what it looked like when I had my birthday dinner that included all kinds of different carbohydrates because of course it's your birthday. And then I was having this really high sugar dessert, but at dinner time, I made sure I had my salad first, then my protein and fat, and then my carbohydrates, which was a pasta salad. And then I had this big slice of tres leches cake, which was divine. And since I ate in that order, 
my glucose stayed completely stable. And it was so cool to just learn simply how to eat in a certain order to keep your blood sugar at an even number. And something I like to have every single day is a smoothie. I've loved this in pregnancy. So I have a strawberry banana smoothie or a blueberry smoothie or whatever else. And of course, that's a lot of fruit. So I thought immediately it was going to spike my blood sugar like crazy. And so I tested it. Well, I'm making this smoothie with raw milk, which is high in protein and fat. And so actually I didn't get the spike that I normally get with other high sugar foods like you would with fruit. So it was really interesting to see how different food combinations spiked my blood sugar or didn't spike my blood sugar and especially the order. Now, another crazy moment that I had while I was testing during this week was a really stressful day. I had a huge fight with a family member and my heart was racing. I was sweating. I was very upset. I cried. It was a whole thing. Well, I had my normal dinner, I had my normal order, and guess what? My blood sugar was so high, it went to a diabetic status number. It blew my mind to see what stress hormones do to the body. And what I've heard, I don't know all the science behind this because that's not how my brain works, but that when you're releasing stress hormones, you're pulling glycogen out of your muscle storage. And so it's really spiking up that blood sugar even more. So it gave me a number that I had never seen in the entire week plus some of testing all because of that stress. And to think about the moments that I had in the first trimester of pregnancy, when our dog had become paralyzed, he had to go in for emergency surgery. He had all of this physical therapy afterwards, and then we ended up losing him. All while I was suffering from insane insomnia, I can't imagine what my blood sugar numbers looked like at that point. And it was such a great reminder of how we need to work on our stress. We need to keep our stress nice and low. And luckily the next morning, I was really freaked out by this. The next morning it had gone back to normal. I was at normal numbers again, but it showed me how important it is to really watch your diet in times of stress and then really work on your stress. It was just an aha moment because we all know this. These are things we inherently know because we've been taught this or we've learned this or we've just had to play, you know, experimentation with our body and found this out the hard way. But seeing that number on a screen and seeing your body change physically with a number in front of you, it was like, oh my God, I cannot let moments like this happen, especially during pregnancy afterwards too. But during pregnancy, when I'm caring for this little babe, man, it was a it was a crazy moment and kind of scary moment. So nowadays I just track whenever I want to. I don't track every single day, but if something's feeling off, maybe I have low energy, maybe I'm in times of stress, maybe something's feeling off, I like to track then. And my husband has actually started that as well. The other day he was feeling really low energy. He looked at his blood sugar. He hadn't eaten breakfast yet. And then as soon as he ate, he was back to great numbers. It was too low to begin with. So really just paying attention to my body and then looking at that number if something something feels off just to get that number like, okay, okay. That makes sense. Something was off. I knew it. And in the future, once I'm not pregnant, I plan to get a CGM, which is a continuous glucose monitor. So they have some, you've maybe seen some, someone has it on their stomach. They have it on their back of the arm. And then this will monitor your glucose 24 hours a day. I think it stays on for a couple of weeks, maybe a month. I'm sure technology is always evolving. So maybe you can keep them on for even longer, but then you don't have to prick your finger multiple times a day, every day. And then it will monitor your glucose all throughout the day. So if you're having trouble sleeping and you wake up and you feel hungry, well, that'd be nice to monitor that and see if your glucose is spiking at that point And that's, what's making you hungry or making you hangry. Or if you're seeing that during the day, okay, my glucose is going crazy. My blood sugar is going crazy. I need to eat something at this point to keep those numbers a little bit more steady. I think it would just be such an eye-opening thing to track all day long, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and to see what those numbers look like. So once I'm not pregnant, I plan to get one of those. I would highly recommend doing this. If you're pregnant, ask for this option. I think it is a fantastic option because 
not only do you not have to do the glucola test, which, you know, not everybody cares about doing that, but I didn't want to do that. But then you get to learn about your body. And I don't think we oftentimes get to learn as much as we should about our body, especially while pregnant. And this teaches you so much and how to care for your body in an even more optimal way. But if you're not pregnant, it's still amazing to track. This wasn't that much. I think it was under $20 for all of these things. So I don't know if you can ask your doctor for this, if you can buy this online yourself instead of getting it from a doctor, but it was just such a cool way to just learn more about my body. And I think that would be so helpful for so, so many people out there. The more we can learn to regulate our blood sugar, the better. And the more you can learn about how certain foods affect your body, the better. That's so important. If you know corn chips before my meal, when I go to a Mexican restaurant is not a great idea because my blood sugar goes crazy. And then of course I'm going to eat so much more and then not feel satisfied and feel off the rest of the night. Well, then you won't do it because you know, you've seen these numbers, you understand them a little bit more, even on a deeper level than understanding yourself. I wanted to share this video because for me, I didn't know anything about blood sugar before. I had no clue. It just wasn't on my radar, even being in the health space. And I learned so much in just a week, a week and a half, two weeks time, just by simply tracking. And so I hope this video is helpful for you and gets you a little bit more interested in tracking that yourself. And I can't recommend glucose goddess enough. She shares such helpful information and she has a book out there that you can check out as well. Now, do you track your glucose? Have you done a CGM and tracked it 24 hours a day? I want to hear from you and what you learned from tracking that in that time being. I want to hear from you. I've only really talked to myself about this. So I'd love to hear from you and other people out there who have experienced this themselves and maybe had aha moments or it just confirmed something you were feeling let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe so you can see even more fun videos in the future. I'm Julie Bowerroth of PaleoMG. Stay tuned for a couple more videos I think you're gonna like and thank you so much for joining me today.